Hey all and welcome to another video on the channel of TechCat. Today we're having another look at the HP Media Smart EX490 server. A server that we made a previous video about and well honestly now it's in the in the closet in my house running as the well the storage server for my YouTube channel. Um, I got a few questions stating if I could make a video on how to do the installation here and yeah, how to run it from another computer. The only thing is, as it's already running, I will be simulating the installation here, but I will walk you through it exactly in the, in the steps that I do. I ended up actually not using Casa OS anymore as I did in a previous video, but I'm using Trunas. Um, here I'm going to be downloading Trunas. I will download it and honestly speed up, of course, the process because I don't want you to have to wait for the download to actually finish. Um, filling in your email address will actually allow you to download. You won't get any spam from it, at least till now I have not, so that seems good. And yeah, we're downloading version 13.0 U5, it's the newest version. The minimum requirements for Truna's core are actually 8 gigabytes of memory. Uh, the HP Media Smart is only running 2 gigabytes of memory, but I haven't had any issue with this at all. It just runs perfectly fine and smooth. And it seems also that, well, the, the way I use it, I just created a media pool and I'm using it that way. Then after the download is complete, I'm using Rufus to select the ISO and then, well, make a bootable USB out of it. The bootable USB I will be using inside a computer where I will basically place the SSD that I have, the 60 gigabyte SSD. I will connect it to that computer as the only drive and then boot that computer from the USB that I'm creating here. And well, once we're booting, we can uh, yeah, we can start the installation. So now that we do have created the USB, let's plug it into the PC and start the boot process. You will see a menu like this. Pressing enter will start the installation. We'll run through it. We'll select install. To start the installation, select the drive here. Ensure that you select the correct drive if you have multiple drives here. And press OK. We'll press OK again. Set a password. This is the password we're going to be using for root, which is going to be the login. And then when it asks for what kind of BIOS you want to select, always select the BIOS and not UEFI or UFI. I don't know how you actually say that, but this one won't work. After installation is completed, press OK, press Reboot and make sure the system boots and you will see also the IP address it's getting. So let's wait for the boot. Yeah, there you go. Now it will actually start booting after pressing Enter or just waiting a few seconds to start the auto. After the installation is done, make sure, of course, to place the SSD back into the HP Media Smart server in the bottom tray. This is the tray used for the boot device. There you see the IP address in the bottom. This is the address we're going to be filling in on a computer to actually be accessing the, the TrueNAS. As you can see here, I access the website, log in with root and the password that I set. And there you go. We're running TrueNAS on the HP Media Smart EX490. Um, here I created a user. My user is called Dan. Well, I'm called Dan, so there you go. Thought that would be a good name. Then I selected the media pool. And this pool I selected with all disks. When I selected the, well, when I created the original media pool, I selected one of the three drives to be a hot spare, meaning that if a drive fails, there's another drive that can pick it up. And then the pool automatically mirrors, so that means that I can lose now actually two drives without losing any data. This does mean that instead of six terabyte storage, I only have two terabyte storage, but for now that's sufficient. And then I activated a Windows SMB share that um, well, allows me to actually access all files from a PC. And here you see the user that I use. If you do edit, I make sure all writes are set to also have write and execute uh, possibilities to ensure that I can actually do everything on the share that I want. Now, once saved, we can actually start by opening the, this computer or this PC. Here you see this is um, well a drive mapping that I made. So the Z drive will always be mapped towards the HP Media Smart Server. You can make such a drive mapping by right clicking this PC on the left. Then we'll do map and net, uh, yeah, map network drive, sorry. And there as the folder will create the connection towards the HP Media Smart Server based on the IP and the share that we created. So as you see, I have media server here. So I'm going to be adding media server, click finish. And after that, it will actually create a share. And let's see, it always takes a bit by the way. So no worries there. And let's see, yeah, there you go. And now we have to share. Well, that was the way to set it up and work nicely. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.